welcome back. As you can see, I left the million cuttings I got um, in water overnight in order for them to be ready for me um, the following day, which is when I'm filming this video right now. So I'm going to just prep my little area and I wanted to show you that I usually put down something um, in order to not make such a huge mess, which always happens either way but I also sanitize my equipment with some rubbing alcohol um, because it's, it is important to have clean equipment to work on when you are performing surgery let's say on your plants so basically today and anytime I do water propagation which is my favorite type of propagation I like to prep my plants. Here you can see that those things I'm cutting off are the um, aerial roots which are so long so I don't really need them to be honest so I'm just cutting them off a little bit to make them shorter and I'll also be cutting in the internode right that space right there where I just cut is an internode so you like to cut at least um, about an inch to half an inch um, below the node, which is the point of connection where the uh, leaves grow out of. There you go, you can see it again there. Um, about a little bit below, at an angle. And just, it's that simple. That's all you have to do. Um, I tried to get some water here, but you can see I failed miserably considering how much water I have in that jar. But, as I've said, this is my favorite type of propagation because it's very quick, it's very simple, and it pretty much works all the time for me. Um, so here I'll be repeating the process, just chopping off those uh, really long roots and then making sure it fits in my jar and then putting it in. So you can do this with most plants to be honest and it's a great way to save a plant like if one of your plants is not doing so well you can propagate it this way or if you just want your plant to grow even more it's um, a great way because once you cut the plant it sends out signals to to push out more growth because it wants to uh, avoid dying so that's one way you can end up with really bushy healthy plants so as you can see here these roots are ridiculously long so I just chopped them up and kept cutting up the plants and that's basically the process I followed this entire time so very easy very straightforward quite simple and quick so hopefully you'll try it out one day and you won't be afraid like I was. Start. 20 minutes later. Then you'd need to put some water, of course, since this is a water propagation. I'm using rainwater, but I'd suggest you could use rainwater or tap water or um, purified water. Three weeks later. And here we go, a couple weeks later look how much the roots have grown so there you see my finger showing you the crazy amount of growth that has shot up and once they're about an inch or two long you can put them in soil or you can leave them in water forever thank you so much for watching and i hope you learned something today